If you enjoy learning the Cherokee language with RSU TV, join our Signal Society. Your monthly gift of $10 a month ensures that RSU TV can continue to produce programs like the Cherokee language classes. Click the link in the description or call 1-800-823-7210 to join today. Uh, I'm really happy everyone's here. Um, this is uh, Cherokee 2 um, from uh, us here at Cherokee Nation and RSU TV. Again, we have Miss uh, Kathy Sierra. We'll let her say hello to you as well. Ah, very nice. Um, so, we are Nikatu Adelo Kwasti. We're at our 14th. Cherokee lesson and I promised that we were going to actually sing the song today and so um, hopefully um, we will get it done. It's in my head right now but who knows by the time we get there whether it's still going to be there. So um, so pray for us I guess. You can so, do, you can do <laughs> We'll see, we'll see. All right so come Elena. All right so um, again, um, taking the place of the introductions because we finished with that part, um, we, we're going to look at some uh, Bible verses. And I thought that would be really, really interesting and kind of fun because this is how a lot of Cherokee speakers learn to read and write. Yes. Was, uh, because, again, that was the most common written form of Cherokee that, was, that most people had mm -hmm. was, was the Cherokee Bible. And so most people, this is how they learn to read. Um, I know uh, Miss Peggy, uh, she talks about her mom and, mm -hmm. and that her mom can read it so smooth. My mom you know, too. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and, and that's one of Peggy's goals. She said, uh, she said before, um, she said, I want to be able to read the Bible just like my mom can, mm -hmm. you know, just, just, mm -hmm. just read it, you know, mm -hmm. because um, she said, like, she's kind of like me. I have to kind of you know, work through it mm -hmm. and sound my way through mm -hmm. it. And, and uh, you know, I sound like yes. a, a little kid and hooked on phonics or something, <laughs> you know, when I try to read in Cherokee. But, mm -hmm. but the more we do it, the better we get at it. So, yeah. so this is, um, so we're going to look at this one here. And the reason why I chose this one is because most of the words in here, um, uh, you have already been exposed to. So we'll see if you can understand where it comes from. So I'm not going to read you where it comes from because then you're going to know if you're, you know, if you read the Bible. And so, but um, I promise you have heard this. So um, we're going to read it first and then I'll tell you, you know, the book, the chapter, and the verse. Okay. So um, this says, Di daleniska, di daleniska, di daleniska. Une clanahi, une clanahi, um, gawo tlane, galan lohi, ale elohi. Um, so, um, how, would you read this for us? Dita leni skai, une clana, gawo, gawo tlane, galan lohi, ale elohi. All right, so you uh, learners um, tuning in, did you recognize any of the words? Okay, they might be in a little bit different form. So this um, we remember in our story about the uh, Cardan on the in the Fox, it said right? When they started, okay, this is the same word. Di daleni skai, okay. When it began, right in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning, di daleni skai. Une klana or une klana he, God or the provider. Um, this literally means he provides it. Mm -hmm. Um, gawo um, klane. Now that one is that how it's said in the Bible? Because uh -huh. now we would say uwotlan. Uh huh. Uwotlan. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gawotlan. In the Bible, it's gawotlan. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, I, knew, I knew you double checked it, but <laughs> I had to. I had to know. Yeah. Um, well, maybe it's due. No, that doesn't make sense either. So let me. I, I have my. And and do it might be do wash on the bowls. Um. Oh no. Um. Let's see. He e go here. Um. Let's see. Oh, this is the. Uh, let's see. Une. Um. I know it's. He e go whale. That's this this book. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's like a. That's not it. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. well, let's yeah. we'll look for it. Gawot mm -hmm. lane. the sky. Ale elohi, right? Elohi, mm -hmm. the earth. In the beginning, God made or created mm -hmm. the heavens or the sky, <laughs> and elohi, the earth. Okay. So almost all, uh, almost every single word. The um, you have been exposed to, so that's that's why I chose this one. And here's the interesting thing: it says "mo si uwo we tanahi uwo we tanahi." So this is um, uh, Moses, right? Uwo we tanahi. Uwo we la la nahi. Yeah. Uwo uwo we la nahi. Yes. Yeah. Uwo we la na. Uwo we la na, yeah. Um, the, isn't it like the, the writings, mm -hmm. um, his writings? Agayi, ha ya, ha ya. Aya totla. Aya totla. First chapter, agayi, u dolf First verse. Mm -hmm. So Genesis 1-1. Yep. Yeah, so this, mosi, uwo we la na. Uh, um, the writings of Moses. Yes. Um, um, and so this is uh, uh, what they call the first book of the Bible in, yes. in, in Cherokee, mm -hmm. um, is the writings of Moses. Right. Um, so I thought that was really neat um, right. because, um, <clears throat> as I wondered, I was like, well, how in the world are they going to call Genesis? You uh -huh. know? And, uh -huh. and so then um, I looked it up and, and I was like, oh, well, yeah. how neat. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So. Um, Dita Leniska, uh, Une Tlanahi, uh, Gawo Tlane, uh, Galalohi, Ale Elohi. Yep. So that's, that's, um, so we'll, we'll try to do that. Um, here's a, here's, um, a, a neat, um, this is our conversational Cherokee for today's lesson. Um, Tikanega. Tikanega. That means to fasten it up, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you can use this um, for anything, yeah. you know, uh, mm -hmm. that you're going to close up or mm -hmm. fasten up. Um, so you can use it for like button your coat, gasalin, tikanega, you know, fasten mm -hmm. the buttons. You can use it for tie your shoes. Um, de, uh, De jala sutla, de jala sutla te kanega. Tie your shoes. So that's how I use it the most because um, my daughter doesn't like to tie her shoes. So um, I usually just say te kanega, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. fasten them up. I don't say um, de jala sutla, uh, de jala sutla. Mm -hmm. um, but the implied, she knows that whenever I say te kanega, that she needs to tie her shoes. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see, what else can you use tikanega for? Um, like, uh, um, uh, just tying up a package, tying oh, up with yeah. a rope, you know? Yeah. Uh, just different things like that. Yeah, it, really anything that needs to be uh -huh. tied uh, up. Tied up or fastened up, mm -hmm. fastened mm -hmm. uh, together, or fastened together, mm -hmm. I guess. Like now, uh, of course, back when all of this, um, uh, of course, you know, probably when this word was invented, mm -hmm. it was probably specifically for tying uh -huh. um, things together because we didn't, um, before Yonex came, we, we didn't have buttons, yeah. you know, or anything like that. Right. Um, but then when, when we got introduced to buttons, yeah. we used that. Um, 
Now, what about like Velcro? Would we still use Ticonega? Um, yeah, you're still going to tie it together. You're still going to fasten yeah, it, it up? Yeah, put it together. Yeah. Yeah, Ticonega. You would still put it together to, to fasten it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you still could use Velcro. Yeah. So this is just, just shows how our language can still move into, um, you mm -hmm. know, the 21st century and, right. and beyond um, to Canega that just, just fasten it up, yeah. you know. So we don't, we don't have specific words for the difference between buttoning it and tying it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just fasten it. Yeah, yeah. Um, however, be aware that um, that doesn't mean to close it. That like he's to hug off, yeah. right? That's yes. different, a completely different yeah. thing. That's different. You know, that's like a door, or a uh -huh. lid, or something like that. Right. So, um, so be aware that 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 for, in Cherokee thinking, those are different things, you know, because mm -hmm. it's a different action, you right. know. Whereas, um, in I think in English, you know, I'll, I've heard people say, you know, like, well, you know, close your coat, or uh -huh. you know, close it up, or mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. But we wouldn't. You would never say that in Turkey. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> He's too hug off. <laughs> it, 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 just, it sounds funny. All right. So we're gonna completely skip this because this is that Baloo Baleary, and I'm afraid if I sing it, it's gonna mess me up on the song that we did. That you need to. <laughs> that we sing. need to do. Uh -huh. Yeah. So here's the song that we have. Skino ha sikani kado ha daneho. Okay, so I'm going to sing it before I forget it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did it. Got it. Yes. It looks, sounds okay. good. Now, the cool thing about this is, um, like I said, this is a uh, um, chichechku, um, is a, a linnet. Uh, it's a, a type of bird, and it's a children's song in Czechoslovakia. And when they sing this song, they have little actions that go with it. And so whenever they do plant corn, um, then they, they have one hand like this, like they have a little basket, and they're planting the corn. And this reminds me of our corn planting dances. Um, mm -hmm. I've, I've watched the, the corn dances, you know, and they'll have, um, but they dance in pairs. A man will be on this side and the woman will be on this side and she'll hold her apron out, you know, and then you take and you, and you the, plant. Yeah, oh, and the, or yeah. the women, or the women will have, and they'll do this. Uh -huh. uh, the Senecas have a very similar dance and they pretend like they're planting corn. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of neat. So uh, when you're teaching the song or when you're singing the song, that action will help you. So we'll sing it one more time and we'll do the um, uh, action. So ski no ha si ni ga do ha de ne ho se lu de hi hui ska ski no ha si wu. Okay, the next verse, this is where you're going to do the actions the whole time. So this says, he ida ni kada ne ho se lu de ji hui iska. He ida, he ida ni kada ne ho. Okay? So then we'll say, He ida ni kada ne ho se lu de ji hui iska. He ida, he ida ni kada ne ho. Okay? So you see that? So when we do this verse, we'll plant the corn. All right? So the next one says, grow. And in the song, they do this as for the, the growing. Um, it's about uh, growing poppies um, because they would grind the poppy seeds into flour and make bread. <gasps> and so, um, so we'll do this with the corn, too, because this represents growing. So okay. when we get to utasa, um, then we can do growing or autism. Mm -hmm. um, so then it's ski no hussigani, gado ni galstisko, se lu utasa, ski no hussiwu. Let's do that one one more time because I messed it up. Okay. Ski no hussigani, gado ni galstisko, se lu yutasa, ski no hussiwu. Then the next one says, 
Hi ita ni gos ni gos disco selu ateska. Hi ita hi ita ni gos disco. Okay, and so then you can make your little corn your little corn plants grow up, right? Ateska ateska to grow, right? So we will do this one one more time. He eat a nigal stisco. This one's a hard one. He eat a nigal stisco selu ataska. He eat a he eat a nigal stisco. Okay. Good. Now this is a hard one. I've, I <laughs> and I still don't have. Um, to ripen, u wants u wants tan or u wants tan. U wants tan. U wants tan. Um, I can't think of a, a way to make an action for ripen. The only <laughs> thing I could think of is, I remember when I was a kid growing up, my grandpa grew corn, uh -huh. and we would know it was ripe because of the tassels coming out. Yeah. You know, and uh -huh. and that's how my grandpa would would judge when we would pick our corn was the tassels that came and grew out. Yeah. That so came out. yeah, and so that's kind of what I thought about. You know, for ripen for corn is we would make we could either do this for the the corn tassels yeah. coming out, or we could do this yeah. for the for to represent mm -hmm. the corn tassels coming out. Yeah. So uh, I think let's do this one. I like that. So yeah. let's do that one. So. So it says, Skino Hasigani, Gado Nigal Stisco, Selu, Selu Uwanistan, Skino Hasiwu. He eat a nigal stisco, selu uwanistan. He eat a, he eat a nigal stisco. Okay. Whew. Golly, that's a, that's a lot of movement. Let's see. <laughs> Could we change? Um, this is this is actually one of the great things about the Cherokee language. If you're trying to put it to music, is because you can add or take away no sounds, mm -hmm. and it still means the same thing, but it fits in the song better. So could we yeah. say "nigal sti eh? Yeah. Could mm -hmm. we could we add mm -hmm. that? So let's go ahead and f let's put. Nigal stiscoin. Okay. Now let's let's try that. Uh, and you know this Uwanistan. Uh -huh. You could say to make it a little shorter to mm -hmm. fit better. Uh, you want see. You want see. Like when it's done. Ah, uh, you want see. Mm -hmm. You want see. You want see. You want see. You want see. Let's let's put that in. See if that'll work better. Yeah. See, this is the great thing about. Uh, no. Let's so go you would back. just put an I right there. Well, uh, yeah, you, your whole word. Yeah. Ooh. No, you. Yeah. One C. Yeah, you want C when it's you done. You want C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's make a little bit more room. And let's see if we can fit it. No, nope, it's not going to fit, okay. but that's okay. Yeah. But it, it still works. Okay. So let's see which what works better. Mm -hmm. So a, again, um, for those of you, you know, um, and we need more songs, for, more learning songs. So I encourage you, as you're learning, to, um, you know, to uh, find some songs, some kids' songs, or songs that you think would be good for learning, and um, give it a shot. You know, try to translate it. Um, but then I encourage you to then... Um, contact somebody like Kathy or, or Peggy or uh, somebody you know that's a speaker and say, hey, can you listen to this? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and like I said, you can add sounds and take away sounds um, to make it sound, uh -huh. uh, to make it fit in the song. So this is, um, of course, this is um, who wants, you want see to, to be done, right? He eat the nigal stisco. No, he eat the nigal stisco. That makes more sense. He eat the nigal stisco. E selu you want. Selu you want. See, he eat the he eat the nigal stisco. I think it sounds better that way, don't you? Yeah. Nigal stisco. Yeah. All right. Then, of course, we have uh, gathering corn. So, of course, we planted 
Now we're gonna gather and put in our put in our uh, basket. So dehitli siska, um, so ski no hansikani gado hadane ho se lu dehitli siska ski no hansi wu. Okay, so that one works really well. Mm -hmm. So, that um, good. yeah, that sounds good. That was a really good one. He itani kadane ho se lu de jitli siska. He itan, he itani kadane ho. That one works really yeah. good. That's a good verse. We're going to keep that verse. <laughs> All right. Now, here's a really interesting one. Okay, this is, now we're continuing on. So, um, this is skino hansi gani. Tell me, right? Gado hadane ho. Gado hadane ho. How do you do it? Shucking corn, which is a very, you know, uh, used to, our culture was very, very centered around corn. Corn mm -hmm. was probably the most important um, thing um, for our Cherokee people, is what kept them alive, um, is we grew corn. And so we have a lot of words that deal only with corn. And the way corn grows, the way we process corn, the way, you know, and those kinds of things. However, in modern times, we don't grow corn like we used to. Uh, you know, a lot of people, um, I know we don't, we don't grow corn anymore. Uh, my grandpa grew corn when I was a kid growing up. Um, but um, I don't know, probably when I became a teenager, it just, it gets, it got harder to put up a garden, mm -hmm. especially corn, mm -hmm. you know, so we just stopped doing it. Right. And, and so this word to shuck. And of course, I, you may not know what that word is in English, but but um, you know when you take the when you take the the leaves off the ear of corn, um, you know that, that they used to call that shucking, mm -hmm. you know, to shuck corn. Yes. And um, so we um, we we came up with there are a couple different words for this. Dehi um, nuleska. Dehi nuleska is one word that, mm -hmm. that I came up with. And then uh, I think uh, you brought this word to me, and you mm -hmm. said that Dukey um, um, uh, told Try. you this word. Dahna se noli. Dahna se noli. Dahna se noli. Dahna se noli. I might not be saying it right, uh, but I, we will get it right because uh, we'll, I'll have him... Uh, Send me a voice memo. Okay, okay. So we're we're gonna we're gonna ask one of our translators, um, and that's uh, again, you know, um, mm -hmm. one of the neat things about um, where we're at in our history right. is because we still have um, speakers left. We're we're fortunate. Um, we're more fortunate than than other languages mm -hmm. in that we still have, you know, about probably 2,000, a little less than 2,000 speakers left. And, and of course, that's not very many. I mean, you know, it sounds like a lot, yeah. but it's not a lot. No, it's not. Um, but we are lucky that we do have those. I mean, right. you know, because there are a lot of languages where they only have one speaker left, yes. you know. And so the nice thing about that is, is you know, for example, um, coming up with some of these special terms and things, you know, Kathy may not know, like this word for shucking, you know, mm -hmm. but ask another speaker and they might remember mm -hmm. it, you know, and the same with, you know, with Kathy, you know, somebody else may not know a word, but Kathy is like, oh, I remember my mom mm -hmm. or my grandma, she would say this, you know, and, and so um, because of that, we're able to um, uh, keep the words keep going. Them. Yeah, mm -hmm. keep them going. And so that's why we, we're going to put them in this song, too, is if we put it in a song, then it'll live there. It'll yeah. be there. And so you'll you'll be able to know that word, you know. So, dehi um, nuleska, dehi nuleska, that's one word for shucking corn. And then we're going to, there is another word for it, and we'll we'll bring it to you uh, maybe next time, okay? So, ski no hansi gani, gato hadane ho. Selu um dehinu leska skino hansi wo okay dehinu leska and then it says he ita nikada neho selu dejinu leska he ita he ita nikada neho okay so let's try to sing that one ski and uh, shucking corn of course you know we can shuck corn mm -hmm. that's that's an easy one to yeah. to imitate ski no hansi gani kado hadane ho 
Selu dehi nules skirt. No, I think it'd be better if we said Selu dehi nules skirt. Skino her siwu. Does that sound better yeah, to sounds that? Sounds good. Yeah, to that dehi nules skirt. That mm -hmm. to me that fits in better. Mm -hmm. Let's sing it one more time so we'll get in our head. So, ski no hasi kuni, kado hadane ho, se lu dehi nu leska, ski no hasi wu. Okay? Hi i dani kadane ho, se lu deji nu leska, hi i da, hi i dani kadane ho. My shucking corn looks like I'm peeling a banana, but <laughs> you get the point, right? Um, so um, you at home can, can shuck corn probably better than I do. All right. Um, so this is to dry corn, to dry. So we've had the word dry before, ukayod, um, um, and, um, uh, and I can't remember the, the, um, the context that it was in, but I know we've had the word dry before. Um, and um, that reminds me of the word pepper, ukayote, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And and does it just de mean dequayote? Yeah. Uh -huh. Is that related to this word dry, uh -huh. dequayote? Yeah, because it's uh, because it's dried too. Whatever. Right. That yeah, is. that little that uh -huh. little peppercorn. Uh -huh. They dry it out and then they grind it they up, grind don't it they? Up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's the same. Mm-hmm. Because you and since you can do that to that, then it's mm -hmm. uh, he. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So ski no hansi gani kato hadane ho se lu de hi ka hyo diska de hi ka hyo diska de hi ka hyo diska. Whoo! Okay, de, there's, a, there's a big word, and we're gonna have to stick it into a small de hi de hi ka de hi ka hyo diska. Dehikayo diska. Dehikayo I think that dehikayo. Seilu dehikayo diska. Okay, that works. That works. Skino ha siwu. Okay. Hi ida nikata neho seilu dejikayo diska. Hi ida, hi ida nikata neho. Okay, so this is to dry it. Okay, so the way that it has, it's you are. Drying it, yes. right? De, yes. de, or well, in this I case, is I am de ji kano, de ji kahyodisk. I'm, I'm making it dry, right? Yes. I'm, I'm drying it out. And then, of course, the de hi kahyodisk. You you're are. drying it. Mm -hmm. You're drying it. Okay. So um, now, used to how we used to dry corn is they would tie up the shucks because when you shucked corn you wouldn't shuck it all the way you'd only shuck and you'd pull it back and they would tie them up and they would hang them on poles um, used to that's how they would let the the corn dry out they would hang it up so that the critters couldn't get to it and they would let the air dry it or they would put it in a corn crib um, and let it dry yeah. so we're going to we're going to hang them on poles okay um, for our for our action so now I'll have to sing this slow but because I'm going to have to try to get the, all those sounds yeah. in there Ski no hasi gani kado hadane ho se lu dehi kyo diska ski no hasi wu. Hey, that worked. That did. <laughs> Let's you try it one it. more time. Ski no hasi gani kado hadane ho se lu dehi kyo diska ski no hasi wu. Hey, I rocked that you one. You got it. <laughs> You're getting better with every verse. Uh, every verse, we're getting better mm -hmm. at it. All right, so see, you're seeing, you're watching history in the making. You're watching mm -hmm. us create a song before your very eyes. Mm -hmm. So, and then it it might live forever. Yeah, my, my great grandkids might be singing this yes. song someday, and yes. they'll be like, so and, then, and they won't even know. That song. I know, right? <laughs> so. Um, then of course we have hi i dani kadane ho se lu de ji ka hyo di ska hi i da hi i dani kadane ho. Okay, so we're drying the corn out. Mm -hmm. Next, ski no hansi gani kato hadane ho se lu 
Dehistoska. Dehistoska. I like that word. Uh -huh. there, there are just some words in the Cherokee language that you just connect to, that you just really like. And, and this dehistoska, mm -hmm. that's, that's to grind it, to, to yep. grind it up. Dehistoska. Skinoha. See, well, dehistoska. Dehistoska. Okay, that's to grind. And so we're going to. Now, there are two ways that we use to grind. Um, we used to have what's called a canon, um, which uh -huh. was a, a, they would hollow out a log and they would, they would make a little bowl, bowl looking. yeah, mm -hmm. dish looking thing in, in that log. And then they would have another log that had, a, it was heavier at the top than it was at the bottom and they would pound like that. Mm -hmm. I know that um, I don't remember us grinding corn that way. I remember making kanuchi that way. Yeah. I remember seeing yeah. kanuchi made that way, mm -hmm. or ganuj, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Um, the other way, though, is they would have a, a rock. They would have a stone that was ground mm -hmm. smooth, and they would put it against another rock, and they would, they would grind back and forth like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And I remember as, as a kid, um, I had a, a, a one of those grinding stones that we found out in the woods, and it had been used so many years that it was a perfect hand. Yeah, it, you could right you could feel hand. where it fit in their hand. You know, wow. it was it was really really cool, and and I think my mom still has it. Mm -hmm. But um, so um, so for the purposes of this song, what do we want to do? Do we want to grind it this way, or do we want to grind it this way? What do you think? Um, I think uh, with the canon, like with the canon, yeah. yeah, I kind of like a, the canon too. The first too. Uh, mortar and pestle, pestle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're gonna use this for for grinding, okay? So dehistoska, um, dehistoska, uh, dehistoska to grind, okay? He ita nikada neho selu dehistoska. He ita he ita nikada neho. Okay, so let's try those two. Ski no hussy gun, he got a hard ne ho. Say, Lu de he stoska, ski no hussy woo. Okay, he eat the ne got a ne ho, say, Lu de he stoska, he eat the he eat the ne got a ne ho. Okay, so we've ground the corn up. Oh, this has changed now. <laughs> Let's see. So it says, Skino Hesigani, Gado Hadaneho, Selu Gadu, Yitadun, Skino Hesiwo. Okay, so you notice we have an extra word in there. Selu, Selu Gadu. Okay, hopefully you know what that is. Um, if you don't, I will, um, then now you know selu gadu <laughs> is the best thing in the world is cornbread, right? Selu, corn, gadu, bread. Selu gadu, cornbread. Okay? Yi chatun, yi chatun, to bake it. Okay? So let's, we'll put it in the oven, all right? Yi chatun, um, or yi chatuna, right? Yi chatun. I'd, I'd say yi chatun. Yi chatun. Yeah. Yeah, yi chatun. Um, so let's let's let me think about this because we got to make it fit in the mm -hmm. okay. Skino hisigani gado hadaneho selu gado yijadun 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 skino hisiwo. Okay, he ita nigado neho selu gad gado yaki dun yaki dun. Um, he ita he ita nigado neho. Okay, yika. Yagidun, Yagidun. I have to, I have to get the uh -huh. accent in the right spot. Okay, so let's let's try this one. So we're gonna bake it now. Skino hasigani gado hadaneho selu gado yijag. Wait, that's not right. I, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yijadun skino hasiwu. Let's try it again. Skino hasigani gado hadaneho selu gado yijadun skino hasiwu. How does that sound? Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. 
Sounds good. Okay. And now, skino hersikani, gado hadane ho, selu gado, ye chak up, ye chak, ye chak up, ye chak, ye chak up. Okay, eating it. Okay, we've learned aki ah, right? Or jiki, or ti ga, right? Eat them. He ga, eat it. Um, I, I have to tell my, she doesn't, my daughter doesn't like to eat, so I'm constantly having to tell her, you know. Eat. Yeah, he got. He got. <laughs> yeah, or he got. So, you jaw got. You jaw got. How do you eat cornbread? Yeah, how do you eat cornbread? Boy, I feel sorry for them. They don't know how to eat <laughs> cornbread, right? But, he eat a nigga done a ho, say, look, I do. Yucky got. Yep. Um, he eat a, he eat a nigga done a ho, nigga done a ho. Okay? So this is how I eat cornbread. And um, after we get done, I'll kind of tell you a little bit about how the story, or how this, but let's try to sing. Um, okay. Okay. And I'm trying to make sure that it fits in the song. Skino hasikani gado hadane ho selu gado yijaka skino hasiwu. He eat done garden, ne ho se lu ga do ya gi ga. He eat the, he eat the garden, ne ho. That works good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So, the reason why, of course, as I told you, the, the story of, or the song originally comes from um, Czechoslovakia, and it's about um, a linnet or um, chijechku, um, and, and how the linnet. Uh, prepares poppies or poppy flowers to make to make flour, and um, so uh, as I was thinking about it, I was like, "Well, this is really a good learning song because it uses a lot of verbs, you yeah. know, and and it's very repetitive." Skino yeah. hasi, you know, hadane, hadane ho, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I was like, "Well, this this would be a really really good one." All about corn. All about corn, yeah. And and so I chose turkey, the turkey, because there was a, a story uh, about where corn came from. And in one version of the story that, that I was told, um, it said that um, when we first, um, when we were first given corn, we didn't know what to do with it. And so we, we just grew it and, and it looked pretty out there, you know, and mm -hmm. we just we were like, oh, that's nice, <laughs> you know. And, but it said that, um, uh, one day, uh, a woman was out tending her corn, and she saw a bunch of turkeys in her corn eating on the seeds. Mm -hmm. And so, um, there's uh, she knew that if a turkey could eat it, then a human could eat it. And so she picked some off the corn, or she picked some, and she cooked it, and she gave it to her husband, and found that it was good to eat. Wow! So that's why I chose the turkey is because of, of that part of the story, yeah. you know, or whatever. Yeah. So, um, and, he, and, uh, it was the one that showed us how to eat, right? He was, we could eat it. Yeah. He was the one that showed us how. So that's why, uh, in the song, I was like, well, you know, you were yeah. asking the turkey, how do you, how do you do all this stuff? He, so the turkey, the turkey is teaching us how we, um, uh, take care of our corn and how we prepare it, um, to, to eat later. So, um, so as I told you, it's a long song. It's very yeah. long. Um, yeah. You know, we're doing a lot to the corn, but we do a lot to corn. Yeah. Uh, corn is is um, we have to take care of it. So, whew, let's see if we can sing it. Um, so, whew, yeah, let's read through it first. Let's read through. <laughs> Would okay. you mind? Reading all of them, I'll click for you, okay. um, but uh, and we'll read the whole thing, and then I'll I'll give it my best shot to sing it. Okay. Skino hasi gani gato hadane ho selu dehi wisaska skino hisawa he adani gadane ho selu deji wisaska he adan he adan nigadane ho. Skino his skino hasi gani gato nikal stisko selu yutasa 
skal nå hvis så er. Her er der Nikols Dieskom, Salle og Taske. Her er der, her er der Nikols Dieskom. Skal nå her se gerne, kan der Nikols Dieskom, Salle, Johannes, Johannes Tan, skal nå her se u. Her er der Nikols Dieskom, Salle, Johannes Tan. Her er der, her er der Nikols Dieskom. Skal nå her se gerne, kan der her der nær hun, Salle, der er helt lige seske, skal nå her så u. Her er der Nikols Dieskom, Salle, der er helt lige seske, Her er der, her er der, nikka da na ho. Skal nå ha se gani, ka da ha da na ho, salu, da hi nu la ska, skal nå ha se u. Her er der, nikka da na ho, salu, da hi nu la ska, her er der, her er der, nikka da na ho. Skal nå ha se gani, ka da ha da na ho, salu, da hi ka jo de ska, Skal nå ha se u. Her er der nikka da na ho, salu, da ji ka jo de ska. Her er der, her er der nikka da na ho. Skal nå ha sa gani, ka da ha da na ho, salu, da hi sto ska. Skal nå ha se u. Her er der nikka da na ho, salu, da ji sto ska. Her er der, her er der nikka da na ho. Skal nå ha se gani, ka da ha da na ho, salu ga du, ja da du, skal nå ha se u. Her er der nikka da na ho, salu ga du, ja gi du, her er der, her er der nikka da na ho. Skal nå ha se gani, ka da ha da na ho, salu ga du, ja da ga, skal nå ha se u. Her er der nikka da na ho, salu ga du, ja gi ga. Her er der, her er der nikka da na ho. Og da, perfekt. Og da. Ja. Very, very cool. Og da da na da. Ni skur. All right, so we'll go all the way back. Okay. So, we will, I will... Try and sing it. I'm going to sing it super slow, um, partly for you, but mostly for me, um, um, so that I can remember um, that that third line. Sometimes is hard because mm -hmm. you get a you know you get a weird word in there and it's hard to fit yeah. it in there. Yeah. So, but if we do it enough, it will just become second nature. So, kom di di nogi, right? Um, so, ski no ha si gun ni, ga do ha da ne ho, se du, se lu de hi hui, no, se lu de hi hui ska, ski no sa si wu, ski no ha si wu. Okay, let's try one more time. Ski no ha si gun ni, ga do ha da ne ho, se lu de hi hui ska, ski no ha si wu. Okay, I think we're pretty good there. Hi i da ni ga da ne ho se lu de ji hui ska. Hi i da, hi i da ni ga da ne ho. Okay, so we'll sing that one one more time. Hi i da ni ga da ne ho se lu de ji hui ska. Remember, we took the sa uh -huh. out because yeah. it still makes sense. He it da, he it da, nigga da ne ho. Okay. Ski no ha si gani, ga do ni gal sti sko. Se lu yu ta sa, ski no ha si wu. Hey, I did that one pretty good first time, but let's do it a second time anyway. All the way through. Ski no ha si gani, ga do ni gal sti sko. Se lu yu ta sa, ski no ha si wu. Okay. 
hi i de ni gals disco se lu artuska hi i de hi i de ni gals disco or ni gals disco oh, that sounds better yeah. ni gals disco okay a little bit faster hi i de ni gals disco se lu artuska he eat da, he eat da, nigal stisco. Nigal stisco. Yeah, it sounds better that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this one. Ski no hasigani, gado nigal stisco, se lu uwanistan. Ski no hasiwu. Sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, fits right in okay. there. Ski no hasigani, gado ni gastisco, se lu uwanistan, ski no hasiwu. Okay. Okay, now we switch this one to you want si. Okay. He eat the nigal's disco selu you want see. He eat the, he eat the nigal's disco. That was good. Let's try it one more time, just get it in our head. He eat the nigal's disco selu you want see. He eat the, he eat the nigal's disco. Next one. Ski no hasigani, gado hadane ho, se lu de hitli siska, ski no hasiwu. Getting better at it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Let's try again. Ski no hasigani, gado hadane ho, se lu de hitli siska, ski no hasiwu. Okay. He eat the nigadan e ho se lu de ji tli si ska. He eat the, he eat the nigadan e ho. Okay. He eat the nigadan e ho se lu de ji tli si ska. He eat the, he eat the nigadan e ho. Ski no hasigani, gado hadane ho, se lu de hi nuleska, ski no hasiwu. Ski no hasigani, gado hadane ho, se lu de hi nuleska, ski no hasiwu. He eat the nigadan ne ho se lu de jinu leska. He eat the, he eat the nigadan ne ho. Okay, we're only going to do that one once because we've just got a little bit of time left. And I don't think we're going to get through this whole song. Ski no hasigan ni gado hadan ne ho. Se lu de hi kyo diska. Ha ha, ski no hasiwu. Got it. Hi i da ni gadan ne ho. Se lu de ji kyo diska. Hi i da, hi i da ni gadan ne ho. Ski no hasigan ni gado hadan ne ho. Se lu te hi sto ska ski no hasi wu. Hi i da ni ga da ne ho se lu te ji sto ska. Hi i da, hi i da ni ga da ne ho. Ski no hasi ka ni ga do ha da ne ho. Se lu ga do yi da du ski no hasi wu. He eat the nigadan ne ho se lu gadu yagitu. He eat the, he eat the nigadan ne ho. Have one left. Ski no hasigani gadu hadan ne ho. Se lu gadu yichaka. Ski no hasiwu. 
he eat a selukadu. Oh, no, he eat a nikadan nehu selukadu yagika. He eat a, he eat a nikadan neho. Phew, he de squat. All right, so we have just like five seconds left, so on behalf. Don't dago, huh? Yeah, don't dago, huh? Eat your dogs are tasty. What don't?